the scene of Carmen takes place in Seville, Spain, during the mid-19th century. It tells the story of the love triangle of the sultry and beautiful gypsy Carmen, the dashing Toreador Escamillo, and the naive soldier Don Jose. Carmen embodies the perfect femme fatale, whose seductive power leads men to complete and utter ruin. She's amazing to dance. She's very feisty. She's fiery. She's a strong, independent Spanish woman who knows what she wants. Dancing this ballet is almost like therapy. You're happy at one point and then you're completely angry the next. And at the end you have to completely be convincing as someone who knows that she's going to be dying, you know, because she's read it in the cards. And she knows it's from Don Jose and she sees him at the end and just to like, see, like feel, okay, now I've got to get ready to show that I'm really like fearful and but I've got to act still strong you know it's so nice to become the character. Carmen is a seductress but she's also a lot more. She's an independent woman loyal only to a gypsy community. Men find the seductive Carmen irresistible and even the strong principled and disciplined Don Jose falls for her charms. Well, I mean, I play a young soldier called Don Jose, who is seduced by Carmen, and uh, she works in the cigarette factory. And um, as she comes out, she gives me a rose, which suggests that she wants to have her way with me. <laughs> and then um, I sacrifice everything to be with her, my place in the army, and I end up going to prison. And then when I come out, um, she's messing around with Escamilo, who's a, a sort of show-off, suave character. And I, I follow Carmen um, into the caves and she, in the, in, in the end, just doesn't want anything to do with me. In the beginning I play a very clean cut, like uh, I want to do well in life. I'm engaged to this girl, Michaela, who's very religious. And then there's the complete opposite side when I meet Carmen and it, I start to change as a character. As soon as I come out of prison, I've become this other person who, who wants to be more involved with the dark side of things and, and all the robbers and the criminals. Um, so it's quite exciting and it's, it's also nice if, if this is the first ballet you've ever been to um, because there's so much action, fighting, guns, I mean it's very exciting to watch. The Spanish setting and theme strongly influences the costumes and style of dancing. It's very Spanish based, I'm, I'm a, a dashing matador and it's, um, it, it's very fun, it's very authoritative and um, it's, it's very different to a normal classical ballet and it, it plays on a very uh, Spanish theme, which is very fun to do. Um, most of the dancers in the company also trained in Spanish dance, so um, that helped a lot. But uh, it's, it's, it's helpful to have it as a basis, but uh, obviously you can adapt. Uh, Escamillo uh, falls in love with Carmen, as does most of the men in the ballet, uh, but she brushes him aside. So. He's left alone, but uh, he's one of those characters which um, everyone falls for. It's a spellbinding performance that keeps you glued to your seat right until the tragic and dramatic end. Linky Beerman for Morning Live, Artscape, Cape Town.